Hey, what's up, guys? RC Madman. Hey, I'm uh, doing a little uh, nighttime uh, flying, testing the uh, Revo Nano with the V9 GPS. Uh, doing some uh, uh, Ratitude with uh, the GPS assisted uh, mode enabled. And I just tried it for the first time, flight right before this uh, video. And I have to say, it's pretty darn neat. Um, I've seen the videos of the OP guys uh, posting, you know, what this uh, was capable of before we even were able to purchase the Nanos. And obviously that was one of the reasons why I even um, was interested in and purchased one. I um, have to say, it's a pretty darn cool feature um, when the GPS is uh, locked on solid with some sat. Uh, it, you let go of the sticks, it just comes to a... A nice soft braking stop and um, maintains altitude and it just uh, flies really really cool uh, you're able to have it in modes that you normally wouldn't be able to fly as a as a you know amateur pilot or you know a newbie uh, trying to fly um, in these other modes you know such as rate or ratitude or any of these other modes uh, that are a little more difficult to fly um, being a new pilot uh, but anyway, I uh, thought I'd demonstrate a little bit here of what it's capable of. I'm going to do a, just a, a position hold, um, a low altitude so you can see it. Uh, it's nighttime. I'm sure my camera doesn't pick it up too good other than seeing, being able to see the lights. So anyway, here you go. I have the uh, thrust mode set to uh, manual. Uh, I tried the uh, uh, altitude vario. Uh, kind of touchy, unresponsive. Uh, it didn't work very well. Anyway, this is what sticks off. This is um, Ratitude with GPS assist. Um, I have the stick at just below 50% and it's holding that altitude by itself right there. As you can see, stickless, it just sits there, hovers really nice, holds altitude really good. Uh, it doesn't move much at all. I mean, it's really impressive. But, you know, if you want to go to, you know, fly it around a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. you go ahead and, and like I said, if you wanted to let the sticks off, move it forward, let the stick off, it finds, it stops right there for you. Finds the uh, GPS, I guess, is enabled and uh, grabs the position, holds still for you. Now if I want to lower down, I go down lower and uh, let go of the sticks again, and it just holds the position. You know, right there, no stick, just sitting there hovering real nice. Uh, does a pretty good job of it too. Uh, that's pretty low to the ground, as you can see. But uh, yeah, what I like about the manual thrust in this scenario is if I want to just fly it, you know, normal, there goes, uh, you know, a little punch out, not even full throttle. And then bring it back down. But uh, it does have a little bit of a twitch to it when you let go of the sticks rapidly. But, you know, there you go right there. I let go of the stick and it finds its uh, spot. Hovers real nice. Maintains. Doesn't go anywhere. Move it this way. Let go of the stick. Maintains it. Pretty cool. And if you want to go lower, you let a little lower throttle. Give it a little throttle into the center and uh, it'll maintain yeah it flies
flies pretty good, I have to say. Pretty happy with it. Um, again, these are modes that I normally wouldn't be able to fly in. Let's go to six. It just sits there. Yeah, like I said, there's no stick right there. Hovering really, really nice. And uh, here's a position hold. As you can see, rock solid. Uh, now I did have a problem last night. I think it was with satellite uh, satellite uh, lock. Uh, it would start to get twitchy, and it would, uh, you know, bank. Um, pretty. Uh, uh, pretty badly and uh, I ended up hitting uh, Evergreen next to my um, driveway here. Fortunately the Evergreen saved it from any damage um, and uh, you know uh, I was able to you know click it back into attitude mode and uh, and uh, you know fire it back up fly it again. So. But yeah uh, last night I wasn't getting good sat lock and it wouldn't it wouldn't do what it's doing now uh, which is holding a perfect level stationary <laughs> position. So uh, I'm uh, gaining a little more confidence in this GPS unit. Uh, at first I wasn't thinking it was going to work out real good. But it's definitely doing it's doing what it's supposed to do. Again, uh, here's uh, here's uh, Ratitude mode with the GPS assist. As you can see it holds the position just the same as it did in uh, uh, position hold. Um, but now I have control over it. If I let go of the stick, it stops. There's a lot of light braking right there, holds the position. If I come forward again, let go of the stick, stops, and holds the position. Um, does a nice job of it too, like I said. Let go of the stick, holds the position. Yeah, it does it every time. Now, again, I'm still a little tentative to, to do any aerobatics with it yet. I'm still going to have to uh, obviously bring it out to a flying field and uh, have some room to do this. Um, I, do, I do plan on being able to do some flips before the summer's over, so uh, I will be uh, probably breaking some props and uh, you know damaging my quad in some way or another before this is all said and done. Um, but it should be... Uh, a fun unit to to practice with um, for you know somebody that's uh, inexperienced in, in flying um, uh, and they may not have anybody that uh, can teach them how to do it. Uh, this is a perfect flight controller for that scenario. So you can um, you can definitely learn a lot uh, with these different modes uh, on your own, uh, which is pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. Uh, this is the uh, Revo Nano. Um, with the uh, V9 GPS um, Ratitude mode um, with uh, manual thrust and uh, it flies nice as you can see it holds a fantastic position um, you know it doesn't move much at all I mean I get I could run the whole pack out here as long as I got good sat lock I could run the whole pack out and it'll pretty much stay in the same position with optimal conditions uh, no wind or anything like that right now uh, but yeah, that is nice and smooth and steady right there. There you go. Let the stick go and perfectly stable. Flying beautifully. I have to say, I really like these APC uh, 10 5.5 props. They're, uh, they really make this thing handle really nice and smooth. Hovers great. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll get out there and start flying it a little more aggressively. Yeah, as you can see, 
that that went even beyond what I normally would be able to do in attitude mode uh, with this ratitude. So but there we have it. I'm gonna land it here. Really nice flying. Uh, thanks again to uh, Big Al on the OP forums and um, uh, RS2K uh, for all the help uh, in PMs and on the uh, cluttered uh, nano owner, owners thread on uh, RC groups. So, um, all right, guys, talk to you later.